What's up guys, this is Crack Hood and welcome back to a brand new video. First and foremost, if you guys are new to this channel, I welcome you all. Thank you for taking your time to watching this video and checking my channel out. I help other YouTubers grow and my job on YouTube is to make sure everybody can succeed and be the best person they can be on YouTube. So with that being said, today's video, we're gonna go over the seven do's and don'ts of starting a YouTube channel for beginners. Starting off with number one, the first and foremost thing you guys should know is do not worry about YouTube numbers. So many people are concerned about how many people are watching their videos or how many views they're getting and how many likes and how many comments etc etc. While it makes sense that you want people to watch your videos and you want to grow, when you're starting off you absolutely cannot stress about numbers. Instead what you guys should do is worry about the people who are already watching your content. Worry about connecting with people who are watching your videos who are liking and commenting. Even if it's just 5 or 10 people who are liking and commenting on your videos, that's five or ten people you didn't have so make sure you guys value each person and make sure you guys don't worry about youtube numbers because eventually it'll all come together number two don't worry about fancy equipment. Stop worrying about spending lots of money on gear for YouTube. This is absolutely unnecessary. You guys don't need to spend hundreds or even thousands of dollars to succeed on YouTube. You absolutely do not need fancy equipment. If you're vlogging, for instance, like I did in the past, you can just use your smartphone. That's good enough. You don't need a $3,000 camera. I know a lot of people who prior to starting off a YouTube channel, they had a good job and they just started going balls out and buying all the gear they can buy and make videos but the video came out shit because they didn't know how to properly edit they didn't know how to make good quality content even though they had a good camera and good microphone they didn't know how to use it so remember gear is not that important if you're commentating on videos for an example like i am on this one you don't even need a good microphone you can use your smartphone mic with an audio recording app on your phone and it'll sound just as clear. I've done a test with my iPhone. Basically, uh, I will open up the voice memo app and I started speaking into it. Then when I put it on Audacity and I changed up the tunes a bit, it sounded just as good as a Blue Yeti mic. So remember, you don't need expensive gear. Number three, don't be fake on YouTube. Be honest with yourself and your audience. If you're an entertainer, it's okay to put on a persona, do bits and be funny and exaggerate. But at the end of the day, you should do things that you're comfortable with and be yourself. When you're on YouTube, you want to show your true personality. If you're goofy, be goofy. You don't have to be someone you don't want to be just to get views. Just make sure you guys are comfortable and enjoy yourself and be happy. Number four, don't spam on YouTube. Stop flooding other people's comment sections on advertising your channel. While you can get reported for spam, you'll also gain nothing in return. Even if your subscriber count goes up by a little bit, it's not going to make any difference. They can be subbed to you because you sub to them, but they don't care about you. Those people that you ask for subs, they're not going to watch your videos. They're not going to care. Instead, you guys want to properly advertise yourself. And how do you do that? You use social media and connect with people. Basically, you want to go on social media, find groups who you can truly engage in. For me, what I did is I went on Reddit and I found subreddits and I posted videos and I helped others out. So basically, you can go find a subreddit like I did for tutorials and I just put in the video, people watched it, it gained traction and it just started building up from there. So you guys have to find a way. Just improvise. Find methods to share your video out in the world, but just don't spam. Next tip, number five, don't worry about what other big youtubers are doing so many of us look at big youtubers and we try to mimic their behavior and copy their videos this is something you don't want to do you should just mimic success and follow what successful people are doing it's okay to grab ideas and revise them to your own and make your own type of videos in your own style but make sure you just don't copy exactly what they do if you try to be another pewdiepie there is no difference between you and pewdiepie if you try to be another mr beast there's no difference between you and mr beast you guys have to find your own style and basically if you want to make content like theirs, that's totally cool. You can make the ideas, but be unique. Have your own set of transitions, editing skills. Have your own um, just vibe to the video. Don't copy others. Next thing is, number six, don't disrespect your audience. If they're giving you feedback, you guys have to engage with them and send them a heart or comment back, especially when you're starting out. The number one mistake new YouTubers make is this. When they upload on YouTube and they're publishing videos, people are commenting. I've seen this personally. I go through you guys' channels who are on YouTube. 
You guys don't know this, but I actually surf through my subscribers' channels and look at what they're doing. A lot of you guys are making mistakes. People are commenting and you're not commenting back. You guys have to make sure you do that. Now, look at me. I'm well over 350,000 subscribers, so I'm not super big on YouTube, but I'm pretty well known. But I get a lot of comments and I do my best on every new video to comment back to you guys, to engage with you guys, to like your comment. I try. But of course, I can't do that with all of my videos because I get thousands of comments a day. But you want to make sure you at least attempt and engage so when you're starting off you should have no problem commenting back to 10 or 20 people a day but for me who gets a thousand comments a day it's a little bit more difficult all right number seven don't get discouraged on youtube many people think short term on youtube and believe in just one week they can make their channel hit millions of views while technically it's not impossible it's highly unlikely for that to happen focus on making your own content the best it can be and also make sure each video you guys publish out you learn how to make your quality better and better I've seen a lot of YouTubers in the past, I don't want to put names out there, but basically they're still stuck in 2008 or 2009. In 2008 and 2009, they were making great videos, they were getting a lot of viral hits, but they thought that would last forever. They thought that by following the same editing skills they're doing, they can use that and recycle it for years. But little did they know, it didn't work out, their views plummeted, their channel died, and they just basically gave up. And the way they could have fixed this was if they changed up their editing, made it better, and made their quality even better than it was a year ago if you guys go back to my videos about two or three or four years ago you guys will know that i didn't really have background music i didn't really have any good transitions my audio wasn't as clear as it should be but now i'm working on making that even better and better so each video you guys should learn how to edit more and more number eight another thing this is an extra tip i know we we're doing seven but number eight is branding you have to make sure you know how to brand yourself. Don't leave your channel artwork blank. When people visit your channel and see that your channel artwork is completely empty, they will get the impression that you just started and you don't know what you're doing. The same logic applies to thumbnails. Do not use default pre-selected thumbnails on your videos. Instead, upload your own custom-made thumbnails which you can make for completely free using Pixlr or even Photoshop, it doesn't matter. But make sure you guys make your own thumbnails and use that. Everyone can upload custom thumbnails. All you need is to verify your YouTube account with a phone number. A couple years ago, only YouTube partners can upload custom thumbnails, but now everybody can upload custom thumbnails. And that's pretty much that. If you guys fix all of these eight tips I gave you guys and you work on this prior to starting your channel or even if you just started your channel and you want to make your videos do better, follow these tips and I can promise you guys you will get so much success and you'll succeed more than you ever did. When I started off years ago, back in 2012, I made a lot of mistakes, but I finally learned and I want you guys to not make the same mistakes i did with that being said thank you guys so much for watching if you stuck around this long in this video i really appreciate you sticking around and listening to this video and with that being said i'll see you guys in my next video